Silvertone Radio, model number 7048. Production date, August 1941. Well, now the year is 2022. And I just purchased this from a guy off of Facebook Marketplace for $50. Now, it did work. And it does work. As you can see, we just got some cloth we need to work on, some wood. The only thing I did in the back, I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to hear it humming. I cleaned up the volume control. And I also had to do some work on the uh, channel changer, which is right here. When I first got it, this didn't work. Everything else works very nicely. The main thing that I had to fix on here, and you can see all the tubes back here. I don't know anything much about radios, but just a bunch of common sense. So back in here, the reason that the, um, channel changer was not turning I had to do it manually there's like a thread or a metal thread which is right here Let's see if I can blow this up here so here's your channel changer I'm going to point to it there's your channel changer right there now right here there's a piece of um, I guess it's like a some sort of gasket that attaches to this metal piece here and it turns the whole thing. So that was just like the two pieces were disconnected. So what I had to do was after giving a lot of thought and I couldn't figure out what to do, I just went ahead and just crazy glued those two pieces back together all the way around the entire seam and reinstalled it. Took this whole, um, I took the whole radio component out and now the channel changer works fine. I cleaned all this up, all this, all this info, all this stuff here. Whatever that is, I'm sure someone knows, and I'm the ignorant one, but that's okay. So I cleaned all that up. I cleaned up all the switches, and the volume switch was a little staticky and in and out, stopping. So I cleaned that all up. Sprayed some uh, some starter fluid all over that, real nice. Cleaned it all up. Lights work. Also has a uh, this is the information here. This is for a stereo or a radio, or I could put a uh, record player, RCA connection right there. I can pull that out. Other than that, a lot of information here. This tells the model number, and you can't see it, but that's the model number over here. It shows uh, the paint job, and it was done by DuPont. So here we go. We have we need a, we had a DuPont company working together with Silvertone together. Speaker works just fine. This is a beautiful radio, a beautiful project. You know, the main thing is I just want to get it running right. I want to get it working. I mean, we'll get to all this other stuff, but the main thing is it works. I can use a dial here. If anybody has another dial they want to sell me or send to me, I sure would be nice. I'm sure I can figure something out, but it would be nice to get another one. If not, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll, I mean, it's like we'll figure it out. But then you got three different tones for uh, turning it on. You got high, you got, this is the volume. As you can tell, it's very smooth, no static in the volume. I cleaned that up really well through that. A lot of time to get some static. So you got high, medium, and then really low. Different tones. And then you also have uh, some other... To do that, get a brighter tone. You have a bass boost. These are all settings. I don't necessarily know how they work, but everything works great. You can see, see this is nice now. Beautiful, but it responds beautifully. Decided whether he wanted to try to get it to the head zone, but I wanted to work. Sounds beautiful. I mean, this is, you gotta realize this radio is from 1941, and it sounds clear as a bell. A lot of fun, guys. A lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. Uh, any info you want to you know, put down in the comment section, please do. 
you know, this is just an exciting project. And um, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon.